or welcome to Heel Toe Automotive in our new little photo studio. It needs a little refurbishing still. Today I'm going to be talking about front lower control arms and control arm bushings from Hard Race and PCI. These are more specifically for the 04 to 08 TSX TL and Accord people. Of course, the newer Accords and TSXs apply to this also. One of the main issues of concern on these cars in the front suspension is this bushing right here, which is called a compliance bushing. This bushing is meant to sort of twist back and forth as the suspension moves up and down. The suspension arm does this and the bushing twists and then they tend to get kind of uh, broken. They start tearing in the corners and coming apart and it causes all kinds of trouble if you can imagine you know if that bushing is failing you know, the arm is going to do you know some of this kind of thing so you're going to lose some toe control some caster change is going to happen which is going to make the car feel pretty unstable. This bushing right here is actually where the lower shock fork mounts. This one up here is the other one that mounts to the frame. Yeah, those are the main bushings of consideration on this arm. Hard Race is a pretty nice brand. It's Taiwanese stuff. They show a pretty good amount of support for many different applications. And as you can see, they're selling these complete bushing sets. So if you don't want to get a complete control arm replacement, you can get just a set of these bushings to replace the bushings in your factory control arm. It's a little more cost effective, uh, a little more labor. If you're not trying to spend too much money, uh, you could just get the bushings and reuse your factory control arms. Another cool thing that they do is they offer many of their bushings in these pillow ball replacement styles bushings which are really spherical bearings and you can kind of see in there a little bit there's a bearing in there rather than the rubber bushing so these are the two comparable parts when you remove the rubber bushing and put in a spherical bearing instead you're going to get a lot less compliance in the suspension which means as this arm is loaded up and moving even if these bushings are in good shape they're going to be kind of squishy and moving around and so that arm, as it's working, is not gonna be completely stable as you're going through a turn. It's gonna maybe want to twist or something like this. If you put spherical bearings in on all these mounting locations, the arm is, is rigid, rigidly mounted, and it only moves in limited degree of freedom. If you're looking for sharper steering feel, for more accurate damper feel, you're gonna get a lot more out of the chassis. You're gonna get more of a direct connection between the tires and your fingertips when you use these bushings with the spherical bearings in them. The downside to that is you're also gonna get a lot more maybe unwanted noise and vibration. You can imagine that if these rubber bushings are here and you hit a pothole or a railroad track or something like that, a judder to the suspension, the rubber bushings help dampen that. They help keep some of that harsh vibration out of the car. And putting spherical bearings in, all that bumps and stuff that you hit is all gonna get transmitted through the arm, through the chassis, into the seat of your pants, really. So while you will feel more through the steering wheel, you're gonna probably feel and actually hear a lot more overall, too. These uh, spherical bearings are meant for performance use you are going to get a little bit more discomfort from them but I think most enthusiasts can give it a little bit of uh, latitude acceptance for the additional noise and vibration just because you know, you know that the car is actually handling a lot better overall uh, hard race isn't the only company in the pillow ball mount game for lower control arms we also have a sort of longtime friend PCI pro car innovations based out of Southern California makes a compliance bushing set as well with a large spherical bearing in them. These are really high performance parts, really nicely machined items. They have bushings that replace this, this position right here, and then this bearing goes over here. They do not have a bushing that replaces this one at the lower shock mount. That's kind of okay. Some customers get a little heartburn over that because, you know, I want to do them all. But, you know, actually, and keeping this one a rubber bushing does have some advantages because it does act a little bit more like a, a second spring in the damper assembly. It can be a little less shocking to the damper not to have that one be a spherical. It really doesn't do much in terms of the actual chassis feel. This one is more to do with road inputs. So you're gonna get a little bit softer road input with this by just replacing these two. So that's kind of the reason why this is a uh, this is a four piece kit rather than a six piece kit from PCI. Expanding on this, I think we can kind of compare these two a little bit more closely. The heart race part has this uh, rubber boot around the bearing in the middle. 
The PCI does not. It's sort of an open bearing. You know, a lot of people get concerned about this too because they feel like with this being an open bearing here that you're going to get some extra wear or it's going to corrode or deteriorate or whatever. And I got to say that I honestly haven't seen that be the case. We've been selling these compliance bushings for a very long time. Heeltoe actually helped PCI develop these bushings for the TSX many, many years ago. So for a long time, we were the, actually the only ones selling these. And we have not seen any real failures on this bearing at all. It's been very, very reliable, uh, even in places like Ontario, up in the snow belt. I'm not sure that this is really offering much of an advantage here because, uh, you know, these rubber boots actually can deteriorate themselves over time. And then what happens is, is elements are still going to get in there. But one of the things that's an advantage here is that they're constantly being shed away by the movement of the suspension. So as this bearing is constantly moving, it's kind of cleaning itself all the time too. And it's uh, pretty tightly sealed. These are really high quality bearings in here. And I don't actually think anything really gets inside there to cause a real uh, corrosion issue. Versus over here, if anything did get inside this rubber boot here, it would be trapped inside and then you end up having a little bit more accelerated wear on that bearing. And we know that that happens because these other smaller ones, you know, this is definitely a really good product here, but over time we have seen that this bearing is a little bit more sealed. I got an O-ring here that uh, fits and then this sleeve goes right in there like this and it causes a bit of a seal. And uh, believe it or not, we actually see more failures on these, on these inner bushings than we do on the outer ones. They're definitely advantageous. I think what happens is this O-ring actually will hold contaminants and debris inside and cause this bearing to start making a little noise after a little while. Uh, I don't know if exactly that's what's going on, but it's actually caused us to sell this kit in two different versions. A two-piece kit that's just these two compliance bushings, the complete uh, PCI set that's a four-piece kit, giving our customers the option. You actually save quite a lot of money by eliminating these two bushings from the package. Ends up being a much less uh, cost than getting all together. And uh, really, actually, um, we're finding that the major benefit really does come with replacing just this bushing right here. If you keep these other two as rubber and this one as a spherical bushing, you've got a really good road package and even something that works great on the track. The system is a lot more responsive. The steering feel is, is way, way better. You got a little bit lower cost overall and you still got some compliance in this rear bushing back here. It's been a really good combination in our TSX. We have this in our uh, HT spec TSX and it feels really, really great. You know, also a little bit breaking is that these bushings don't exactly fit in the second generation TSX or fourth generation TL and the uh, eighth generation Accord. But we're working with PCI right now to create an adapter sleeve to fit those into that application. These are fitting the same in all those cars. So uh, that's some good news too on the, on the front. Uh, we will have a little bit more applications for these PCI bearings later on. That's a lot about compliance bushings, hard race, PCI. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot get this hard race arm with all these bearings already installed if you want the pretty blue arm. What I would say is get this and then get the two-piece kit. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing on my car, to be honest with you. I think this is gonna be a really great package um, because that TSX needs new, new bushings in the suspension, and I think that's gonna be the way to go. So here we got lots of options for lower control arm bushings for your newer Honda and Acura big body car. If you need anything from hard race or PCI, Kyoto Automotive is in your corner, getting you all the great parts and information that you need for your car.